If you like to talk about combat sports and you want to join the discussion, click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon next to it and join Knucklehead Nation. Ladies and gentlemen of Knucklehead Nation, I am here with Angel El Gallo Negro Naranjo. So let me go ahead and ask uh, how you got that nickname. Is that something you uh, just, a nickname you gave yourself or do people uh, call you that? Well, me, my coach, and another coach we were working with pretty much came up. Well, we got the name from a movie that a lot of Hispanic people uh, watched before, Blood and Blood Out. One of the fighters there, well, he's not a fighter, but he's one of the, the characters. Uh, they call him the guy when he was a boxer, so I'm like, what about that? And it stuck, just decided to roll with it. Yeah, can you uh, relate to? Uh, yeah, I've seen the movie before. <laughs> can you relate to the guy, or you just like uh, the nickname? <laughs> I sometimes talk out of my ass if I have to, <laughs> so I can kind of relate to that. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it when it comes to relating to that guy. Yeah, he does a lot of crazy stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people. Yeah, like you said, a lot of people seen that movie, so they they know the reference. Uh, your last fight, uh, Fighters Rep Seven. Uh, it was a kickboxing fight. Uh, in my opinion, you look very uh, calm, cool, and collected throughout the whole fight. Uh, you. you got the win. Is that uh, typically your fighting style? You know, you don't come out brawling as soon as the bell rings. Uh, like I said, you were uh, calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, I, I, I do consider myself a very technical fighter. I never uh, try to ball it out. I try to stay calm, see what my opponent does, how he responds, look for openings, and pretty much try to... Um, I'll, I'll beat them, I'll, I'll work them in the technique department. Uh, I, I realized you, you were using your jab a lot. Is that something you practice uh, because you knew your fighter was shorter than you? Or is that something you just uh, kind of... I try to sharpen every uh, weapon I have. Uh, jabs, elbows, knees, uh, kicks, everything. I do repetition with almost every every single strike that I, that I have. It's just that for this fight, my jab just happened to be used the most. Uh, you've had you so let me ask you what martial art discipline did you start in not just competition wise but just uh, in general uh, I started when I was about nine at Taekwondo for a good number of years I never competed in Taekwondo when I was younger I did compete uh, in Taekwondo like maybe when I was like 20 uh, but that's pretty much Taekwondo was my first martial art and how did you make the switch from Taekwondo to Muay Thai uh, one of the instructors that I did Taekwondo with also did Muay Thai and I would see a lot of the old, um, uh, when I was younger I would see a lot of older people going to that class the more where I was in it was like nothing but little kids so I was like oh um, I want I want to work out with them and then they told me like oh it's Thai kickboxing I never knew what that was and I pretty much told my mom hey I want to try this instead and that's pretty much how she got me into it and how did you what made you actually start competing and not just yeah, training uh, I just happened to get into it. Uh, my initial goal was just to get into shape, um, you know, learn learn something new, and pretty much by staying uh, consistent, training every day, uh, I would see some of the fights uh, for uh, a different promotion, and I told my coach, hey, I want to fight, like, I want to try it out. And he's like, all right, let's get you a fight, you know, let's get you training, and about a, uh, about a year into my training, I started to compete. And what, now what made you make the switch from Muay Thai to kickboxing? You know, this is gonna, uh, this next, September 21st, which is only a couple weeks away, is a kickboxing fight, which will be your second kickboxing fight? Yeah, my second kickboxing So fight. what made you make the switch from Muay Thai to kickboxing? Is it something you just, you know, you wanna test yourself, see if you could uh, change the fighting disciplines, challenge uh, yourself? Yeah, it's pretty much just a challenge myself challenge myself I feel like most uh, uh, good martial artists will be able to adapt regardless of the rules whether it's full rules Muay Thai uh, kickboxing K1 style unified doesn't matter a good fighter is gonna be able to adapt so I, I don't really worry about the, the rule set all that much was it a hard transition for you at all or not really obviously there's the rules aren't that different but obviously you can you can uh, clinch you can elbow you can um, sweep yeah, there's, there's some things that I do like to do a lot, like catching kicks, sweeping, clinching, and it does feel weird not being able to use them, but like I said, you just have to adapt to it. Um, it, it wasn't really that hard to uh, to forget, to, you know, like just ignore the clinching. As soon as I uh, he tried to clinch, I know my opponent tried to clinch a couple of times, but uh, I knew better than just to try to clinch up because then we'd get in trouble, so it's not really that hard. It, at least I feel like it, it isn't. Yeah. So, what are your short? Not looking past this, uh, n your next fight. 
which is uh, on September 21st. But what are your short-term goals as long as your long-term goals in uh, competition-wise fighting as a, as a fighter? Short-term goals is pretty much uh, build up my gym with Coach Johnny. Uh, it's his team, it's our team. We pretty much want to build that up, or you know, that short and long goal. Pretty much keep fighting. That's going to help out the name, Aitzen's Muay Thai. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, have a good team, keep training, keep fighting. Uh, that's pretty much our, that's my goal. Um, so, so can you tell us what what you guys have established here? You know, we're uh, at an undisclosed location. Uh, it's a very uh, private, uh, I would say small, but um, intimate gym uh, that you guys have uh, created. What can you tell us about it here at Eight Sins? Uh, it was it, it wasn't easy, but was, you know we had originally we were just gonna start training at different spots, but we were able to get you know this location right here. Me and him, uh, we talked a lot about a lot about what we want to do, we want to work with, where we have people that they've known us from before that they couldn't train, but now they know that we have our own spot and they already hit uh, start messaging us talking about that they want to train with us and all that. So I feel like it's gonna be easy for us. Maybe I'm not saying it's gonna be it's easy, but for us, it will be easy, I feel. Just because it's at a... How, what do you mean by it's going to be easy? It's going to be easy because I feel like both of us are confident. We know what we're doing. A lot of people already want to train with us, but they weren't able to before because of certain uh, uh, reasons. But now they're able to. They're already hitting us up. And so I feel like as long as we get people like that that are willing to train, want to train, it'll make it a lot easier for us. Instead of having to like you know go out, look for people that say they want to, and then you know at the last minute they, they pull out. Or they don't want to anymore. So how did this uh, gym actually come about? Because I know you guys uh, trained at uh, the UFC gym, right? Yeah. And your coach kind of talked about it before the interview of how this came about. But I kind of want to hear your uh, your perspective on it or just, uh, yeah, your perspective on how the this gym came about. So I've, met, I've known Coach Johnny for a while and pretty much people talk about it before. But before we were seeing to build up our team at the La Mirada gym, um, pretty much some personal stuff has happened uh, from then to now. Um, we started talking about, the, you know, let's pretty much set up our own team, me and him, we'll work together, he'll be the head coach, and we pretty much found this spot right here, and yeah, that's pretty much how it was. It wasn't really like too anything too crazy. I mean, I've, already, I've had experience before, I've trained other people, he's trained a lot of people, so me and him decided that if we work together, we can make anything happen. All right, Angel, is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans, friends, and family before uh, we cut this interview? Uh, no, just thank you to everybody who's shown support, uh, shown love, uh, hit us up. We want tickets, pretty much. Uh, they, this is released before the, you know, the fight. Yeah, definitely. All right, Angel, wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. Click the link below for your official Fighters Rep merchandise and join Knucklehead Nation.